And guys, can I get some pause champs? Like the next map is gonna be wild. All right. Really, really, really wild. The next player is going to be Lash. Okay. And the, the next map is going to be Archipelago. Yeah. Wait, I guess Vortex? Yeah, that's why. Okay, that's 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 a bit crazy. We okay. have English against French on Archipelago. Huh? This is wild though to me. Vortex going with French. Now, I don't know. Like the one thing I can think of is that he is going French to either a rush castle because there's enough distance between the players or he is like thinking far in and he's like, well, I want to use French here so I can use the good sieves on the other maps. Maybe he doesn't want to use up all the good water maps so that he has more options. I'm back. I don't know. Like, that's the only thing I can think of. Welcome back, Corp. So what did they miss? Wow, that's a... They changed this map, right? It used to spawn different, I think. I have no idea. Three relics in the same spot. Obviously one uh, archipelago, by the way. We have seen it in tournaments, but like once or twice. So each player has a relic in their base. Sacred sites are um, on two different islands. There's three trade posts, actually. Yeah. Isn't there supposed to be two? And Watix Island is just straight up better, no? How? I mean, Lash has both big golds on the coast, so... He can like, go for this one, though. It's, it's... Yeah, yeah, but, uh, like, if he runs out of this gold and then he loses water, he has no gold left, technically, right? I mean, if he loses water... Uh, yeah. You know, there's gonna be 50 True. knights in his base two minutes later. But he also has less wood, doesn't he? Maybe it's... That's okay. Okay, so for those guys that don't know, French war cogs cost 75 food. They used to be 100 or they are 120 food, right? For other sims. For French, they're 75. So maybe Vortex, again, we're memeing about them playing water all the time. But maybe Vortex but and Lucifron figured out that if you have a certain amount of fishing ships and you're producing war cogs, you can age up and then you can make a galley ass. I mean, there has to be something. There's no reason he bans French and picks French, right? Yeah, so yeah, like, picking no French, something. right, picking French is one thing, but banning it is weird, right? Yeah. Because I said maybe maybe he's planning in the future and he's like, I want to use French because it's not maybe as good on other maps. But yeah, yeah sure. banning it, that's a good point. Banning it doesn't make sense unless he thinks he's genuinely good, which if I'm Lash and this is what happens, I'm like, oh, shit. Like, what? what do I, what do I not know here? You know, that, that's happening. True. So, alright, we'll see how it goes. Wait, Gallias don't cost food? Wait, I didn't even know that. Huh? Hmm? I actually didn't know that. And you can produce, you know, mass amounts of them, right? So, uh, the moment he hits castle, he doesn't need to wait for the upgrades or anything like that. He can just go for it. But English has... Admiral Admiralty, which is plus one range, which is really, really strong. So we'll see how it goes. Yeah. Do you think he's going to go full baboon on water, is or cool? is he going to play like uh, some sneaky I castle rush? I have no idea. Um. I think okay. he's going cock for sure, right? But Wait, what? Really? Yeah. Yo, what if he transports ships and he like drops knights off? I think he's going for the cock. Okay. You know what's kind of annoying? <clears throat> when you go, like, when you make a cock landmark on water maps and the traders keep coming, but you don't want them because you can't use them, right? But you get Again, a market, please. which is pretty nice. Again, please, I, I'm, I'm fixing stuff bad. No, it doesn't matter. <clears throat> Sorry. Um... <clears throat> So anyway, second dock already coming for Lash. So he is producing fishing ships. Maybe Lash, do you think he prepared a little bit? I wonder, because his build's looking good right now. Second dock, still producing fishing ships. He's about to age up. Abbey of Kings, boom, right there. By the way, I mean, I like Abbey it, right? of you Kings. You also get a free king. Yeah, Abbey, true. Abbey of Kings, by the way, does work on ships. The healing. It and you could technically sneak over the king, right? Because he's for free. Yeah, you can make a transfer ship for sure. 
Yeah, and there's... Whoa, he's actually going for School of Cavalry. Uh, but... Yeah, yeah, he's going for the Sock. Back-to-back 12-hour -back streams? Hot yeah. champ. Sock the... Uh, uh, okay. Okay, chill for Jesus Christ. Chill. Is he gonna make a transfer share? For sure you make it, right? I mean, you, you get a king for free, right? You kinda have to. It's 100 wood! And you get harassment on the wood line and the gold? I mean, you get a 200 resource unit for free, right? If you don't make it, a transport chip, you... Yeah. You dent it. Yeah. Is that, are you now insulting Lash too? The no. You, 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 you said dent it, not Bro, me. Bro, come on, man. He's just insulting every player we got. Oh, he's that's scouting him. Uh... Yo, he's scouting him. I mean, I like that, right? No, like, wait, that's for transfer ship, right? Yeah, I, I like that. That's what I said, huh? But is it? Where's the transfer ship for? Calm down, the age of peace. Now, click it now. He's gonna click it now. He's really booming, though. 10 fishing ships. Oh, okay, 11 on uh, Vortex's side. So both double dunk. There it is! Yo, I like this. Let's just cooking. Dude, he is actually cooking. There's no way Lash didn't, like, prepare a little bit for this, right? Because this is pretty I mean, he, pretty he's clean playing the too. game a lot, right? I don't know if he prepared for this Bro, exactly. Who, but who I... plays Archipelago? What do you mean? Yeah, I think he... Uh, when when I time. invited him, he said he's going to prepare something. So, and yeah, that's cool to go. see, right? Like, people I think preparing it's cool. for it. Yeah, I think it's that, cool. That, that's cool. That's why I can't wait for Corvinus to see what he's cooking. He's... he's... Yo, he's making a night too! Yep. Dude, we haven't yeah. seen this map oh, in so long, but no one ever did this back in the day, by the way. Like, no one was going nights like this, because we didn't know how to manage economies as well, right? And also French was like giga broken on water maps. Yo, I like that. Look, he's gonna go around because he doesn't want to go through the fishing ships. Oh, but he's gonna show transfer ship though. Yeah, but he, Yo, he is he gonna see? Start. Yeah, he sees wait, wait, wait. ship have a lot of vision. Yeah, he saw. He saw that. He saw that for sure. Yeah. He saw that. Okay, he should know that there's knights. But he coming. also has a okay. Both of the, the Hulk out. Oh, barracks coming. Okay. See, this is the thing. Lash is cooking. Lash this is, is the, cooking. This is the thing. Does Vortex but, realize though? Like he saw the ship, but did he see it? I mean, you can imagine, right? But also, one thing to mention: um, French war cogs have one more ranged armor compared to normal Springle. He doesn't know, man! I I love it. Oh no, brother. That's my one villager at least. And this thing is gonna be a problem, right? And now Vortex has invested into another knight. That means he also cannot make more units right now. Uh, more more ships, right? And he also wow. lost a village on top of that. Love that. He's repairing, doing some fishing ship. And and Vortex went all the way around, right? Because he wanted it to be a surprise. He wanted to like surprise the opponent, so he went all the way around and his French knight is so late and there's spearmen already! Yo! Good micro from Lash. He is literally cooking so hard right now. Wow. Transfer ship is gonna go down. It doesn't matter much though, right? Yeah. Now this king will suffer consequences, but he delayed quite a bit on the, yeah. on the goal. He should, should focus the villagers, right? I don't like that he, like, wasted the transfer ship, right? Because he could have loaded up Spearman now, right? With the king, and then come back why with the Spearman. He, why is he letting the king die for that? Like, that, that, I don't get it, right? Yeah, I'm not I'm not sure about that. I don't like the transfer ship, like, just letting it. The knights are in. Is he gonna get something? One villager, for sure. Yeah, 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 yeah. A lot of idle time, though. A yeah, lot but... of idle time. Let's see. 10 fishing yeah. ships versus 12. Yeah, but and he's using the, the Abbey pretty cool, right? His boats are almost full HP again. Yeah, it works on ships. So if you go here, it will heal you up. Knight goes down. Knight's going down. Perfect. And uh, see, the one thing about Vortex is he can... He didn't lose the transport. Yeah, he didn't lose the transport. So he can send this knight over too. And it's just, uh, you know, it's annoying, right? You gotta deal it's with it. It's annoying for sure, yeah. <sighs> Well, you know how you said the gold being forwarded is a disadvantage? It's turning into an advantage in this one. <laughs> because he can't harass his gold at all. So he has to go for the wood line. Yeah, true. But, and, I mean, uh, idling out the wood line is also not bad, right? Yeah, of course. 
Like two ships in the night. Okay, that's minus one fishing boat for sure if Vortex pays attention. Three fishing boats. No. Yeah. Okay. Oh, oh, oh. That, messed up there? Yeah, that's three. That might be even four. Four. Oof. Might be even five. 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 Ay, ay, ay. Oi, oi, oi. But on the other side, Vortex didn't even move. Okay, nice, nice, nice. Wait, he didn't even Lash move. Lash is cooking. Okay, Lash ends up having the better trade overall. Nice. And two demo ships. Uh, oh, two demo the... ships. Oh, by the way, guys, these Ooh, are yeah, yeah. these are these are stealth uh, forest. Stealth forest, right? So Bunch if you look, forest. Vortex doesn't see, so he could have run into demos, and he doesn't care. He just goes goes yolo oh, in the village. Oh, village is going down. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Oh, that's gonna be a lot of. Fun. Okay. I like it. Now fishing ships are still alive. Oh, the demos are coming Ooh. from the from the thing. Oh, more demos! Ah, but what is it paying attention? That's a lot of demo ships, though. Oh, oh, oh he gets hit just... again. Oh. On the bottom side, he gets hit too, and they're just trading back and forth now. But I think Vortex is getting ahead of this, right? Six fishing I ships. I think it's still pretty even. Like Vortex has no food. Look at it. He has no food. Yeah, that's weird. Wait, how does Lash have? Good income. I guess it's left over. I mean, he's on cheap, right? Yeah, with some. And now, what is army is out of position, so it's spicy. I mean, the French is producing faster, right? Okay, no, the Ooh, village. But the plus again. one range is it researched? Yeah. Yes, it is. So yes. the funny thing is, if they go face on, English is better quite a bit, and it's actually quite noticeable when you play because of the Springle ships having plus one range. So yeah. Oh, Knight is back in. Where are the Spearmen? Hey, Lash, pay attention. Hello, Lash. Come on. Come on. Come on. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Is, he lost one. Is he going to lose two? Yeah, it's going to be two. Oh, oh. Ooh. Ooh. Oh, okay, six, loses. Okay. Okay. Could be worse. Back, Could be worse. That's two demo ships. There's a one. No, two archer ships. Look at that range. See that? Yeah. Pokes him. Oh, that's too early. That's too early. Yeah. But Vortex should never be able to, to trade back if Lash pays attention. Yeah, but it's very hard to play water, yeah. right? Like, to constantly yeah. do the proper micro and stuff is really hard. I think you gotta, like... Ooh, that oh, is that's, really that's gonna be deadly. That's gonna be deadly. That, oh. is, that is game ending deadly. Just pop, pop both. Ooh. Ooh, okay, save, okay, save. could have been still worse. a lot of damage. Still I, a lot of damage. To I think if you're Lash, you wanna use this shit, right? Like, you wanna pull here with your... That's your win condition, yeah. Yeah, and then just try to kind of sneak out. That's the only bush on the map, right? Yeah, the water I just bush? checked as well. It's kind of unfair, to be honest. Like, having that Game in front of your base is life's like... Life's unfair, you know what I mean? Yeah. Boom. What are you going to okay, do about it? Another dog coming in. This one look, 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 look. That, and look at now Vortex's vision. El no sabe. But he gets but it in. But good direction, of course. It's Vortex. Wow. And Vortex is pushing in. He wants that dub. He wants that win streak. That win streak's got his name oh, on it. Coming in. Gets one. Uh, oh, 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 okay, good micro from Lash. Look at the look at the, oh, look at the HP. Another demo. Look at the HP on the ship. There's from a lot Marcus. of demo coming in. <gasps> he doesn't see them. Oh. oh, wait, Lash is gonna hold. Hold yeah, up. Good connection on both sides here. Wow. Okay. One thing to note, by the way, which we both forgot. French can oh, make villagers faster. I talked about it earlier. Okay. Okay, I forgot, Core. Is that what yeah. you want to hear? Yeah. Is that what you want to hear? Yeah, yeah it's You're the best yeah. HRE player in the world. Now you want to be the best yeah. French analyst in no, the world no, as well? No, just say I have an insane good uh, map uh, game knowledge. Just you're, say. you're so good. If you could only play okay, stop, as stop much here, as knowledge here. you it's have. It's not getting better. Stop no, here, if stop you, if no, you no, only no, played no. as good as the knowledge you have, you're kind of like one of those gold with conquer knowledge, you know what I mean? Yeah, I'm the typical Reddit user. Right. Like, just think about me having Lucifer for micro. That would have been, like, game-changing. I bro, stop, I almost got a stroke from that. Oh my god, dude. That's crazy. Bro, you would be unstoppable. Oh True. my god. That's crazy. Okay, let's go back to the game. Um, so the villager count... Obviously, uh, uh, Vortex killed three more, but he is slowly going to get ahead in villagers because of the French uh, passive thing. And now Vortex 
is moving? How many is this? 11 villagers on gold, by the way. Which is a lot. And... Uh, Lash did not have wheelbarrow this whole time. Mm, that's costly. Pretty painful. And now he's sending 13 villagers on deer. Is he gonna try to age up, you think? He might, oh, right? Oh, 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 oh. Watch out, watch okay, out. Okay, paying attention. But what if there's a bit more ships, right? Oh, more spearmen drop, spearmen drop on the left. Wee, wee, wee. He's preoccupied now, my crane. Okay, he moves them. No demos in the bush. But Vortex doesn't know, but he doesn't give a fuck, man. I would be so scared to go anywhere there. Yeah. And by the way, guys, there is a way to see into the, the this thing. Yeah. You just need a fishing yeah. ship. You so can if... also put a transport with a scout, I think. It's the same, I think. Uh, really? I think it is, yeah. I think okay. the scout has the same vision in a transport. Yeah, so if he brought like a fishing ship, or he could even drop a fucking scout here, right? That would work too. Um... But yeah, no more drops from uh, Vortex. He did not make any more units. These spearmen are gonna be really, really annoying, actually. Yeah, because he has nothing against them. So if he's not losing them to the oh. town center, if he's not paying attention, that yeah, could if actually he... be a problem. Yeah, if he doesn't like get surrounded, and yeah, if he times him. it good, like with the water attack, like that's Yo. what he's trying to do now, right? Lash is cooking. Lash is cooking. He, uh, and Vortex are in. It's coming spearmen in. Are in. Okay, oh. let's count the kills. He had 12. We'll see what? how many he's got in the end. Oh. That's a lot of ship score. I don't That's know. That's a lot man. of demos. Like, if these demos connect, the game's over. Oh right? my god. Oh. Ay, 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 ay. Smash, kill it, kill it, kill it. I mean, yeah. could be worse. Okay, if that won't okay. connect. What is on the gold? What is on the gold? Check the gold, please. He's losing everything. He's losing everything. These guys are cooking. Could have been worse. Is Lash gonna beat Vortex right here? He doesn't like, know. The one died to TC, but he's yeah. still not noticing. These guys are cooking. But the, 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 Six the, versus the ten. ten. Aye, aye, aye. He needs a fat demo here. He needs yeah. a thick demo, and Vortex still doesn't know. Or... It's a destruction. Oh, the demos are big up! Yo! Okay. We needed more. He still doesn't <laughs> know. This is actually super close. He's still. Oh my god, dude, Lash is, Lash is boiling him right now. He still doesn't know the villagers are all going down. Vortex is like, why can't I not make more demo shit? White Tower is aging up. Okay. It, it could have been a White Tower on the other island. Boom. Yo, imagine if he he's White Towers like, his main base. Ay, 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 ay. Okay, come on, Lash, don't fall apart. You can do it. Seven you holes. It. Oh, oh the, the White Tower. Oh, if this one gets denied, it's Jover. Okay, Spearman, no, 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 Spearman, you don't want to go there. Don't go there. Spearman, no, 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 no. Don't Spearman, there. don't go there. Oh, he's going there. Okay, the White Tower gets denied, the game's over. Oh my god! That was so close, yet so far. Ah, oh, the Spearman. Yeah, but if the White Tower is getting denied, the game is over, I think. Yeah, he needs just demo, just spam demo now. Yeah, just wait. Dude, he he Dude, Q Core, there's a demo right there queued up. Yeah. But the Vortex is aware, right? Like, he's not. Like, he's aware, right? Yeah. Yeah, he's pulling everyone, but oh this is not gonna go up. I think that's the game. Oh, oh my god. god it's oh, a El Nosabe. Wow. El Nosabe. Wow. Vortex! Even though he lost every. Oh! <laughs> it's not going up. It's not going up. Wow. Oh my god. Oh, he's pulling oh. everyone, but he, he lost so much. He lost so much. I mean, he's gonna get it in the end, but for what cost? And what if he's about to age up himself, right? He only has no gold, because I wonder what happened. Wow. Okay, that was the best game so far. That was an insane game, yeah. You think he's gonna stay in? He's gonna try to cook something up? Lash is the biggest fighter, I know. This guy is not gonna give up. Until the last house is burned down. Yeah, Lash is a fighter. Guild hall is coming up. The thing 24. is, if he 
lost all the fishing, but he, he he's like he didn't lose the villagers. I think he's it's still like playing. I honestly right? think you have to pull everyone instead, right? Instantly, right? Yeah. Or you just cancel because, yeah, like if that doesn't go up and you lose everything for it, you obviously lose. So you yeah, either cancel yeah. or you pull everyone straight. Yeah. Maybe and if he didn't try to age and like just make more ships, he would have been fine. Uh, obviously, like you don't know that your spearmen are gonna kill like 15 villagers on gold, yeah. right? Yeah. But. But everyone makes mistakes, right? That's the point. Like, not, not you when you play HRA. True. It's true, I mean, what can you say? Yeah, what can I say? He's gonna go back to it. He's got no food income, so eventually the food will become a problem. Yeah. Thing is now, <clears throat> he has the White Tower, but he's super far behind in economy, right? He needs some... Yeah. Like I mean, if that was King's see. Palace, <laughs> yeah. that would be pretty good to get the eco back out, but... Yeah. <clears throat> yeah. The thing is... How do you end the games here, right? Like, do you just go Imperial, Sacred Side play, or what What do you do to end it? As Vortex? Yeah. Like, do you uh, just drop him, or, like, what would you do in this point? Because he's clearly going Imperial, right? He's probably gonna wrap Palace in the middle-ish somewhere. How the probably fuck is he gonna get... To... Oh, you mean Vortex Red Palace? Yeah. Um, yeah. Like, look I at mean, the bank, honestly, right? He's just clearly gonna going destroy the docks, at least, right? Yeah, but you can never go close enough because the White Tower is insane range, right? I mean, he can mow down the goals, you know what I mean? Yeah. And who said know. earlier the gold could be a problem? Can you repeat quickly? Well, it's still not a problem, so I'm still right. It could be a problem. Stop well, being a dick it, and just... Yeah, it could be! It, yeah, he could also, you, just say yes, he could you're also, right! And he, could also, up, he could also disconnect right now. And that yeah, could sure. be a problem. Yeah. Yeah? Yeah, go ahead. You little shit. <laughs> Put the fuck up, red uh, palace is coming up. Where is it voice. coming up? It's next to the water, actually. Uh, he could trade from here, by the way. I mean, he's probably gonna make Carex, right? I mean, that's not a big Just trade. gonna mod on everything. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Heck, <laughs> Lil. Like what? Heck, Rick. You know? Heck, Rick. <laughs> crack? <laughs> uh, he's playing later. Crack. Oh, yeah. Eddie. Oh, okay. I got it now. He's got a lot of fishing ships, for I can tell you that. <clears throat> yeah, I mean, Lash he's also is uh, 50 in. eco up, right? That's Lash not is what coming Lash in wants hot. To see the... That's not what you want to see, uh, Imperial Age. Not at all, brother, not at all. And Vortex, I think he's gonna just go sacred size, right? The safest yeah. thing. And he taps out. Wow! But this was an amazing game. Guys, this is why we're doing this style of tournament. This is why we're doing this format. He was so close to beating Vortex. And not yeah. only beating him, but in a style right there. And that love was that like an insane approach here. Like, I loved what Lesh did there, right? He knew, okay, Vortex is a great player. I have a plan, I pick Archipelago, I figured something out, and it almost worked out. And that's yeah. the great thing, right? That's what we have this for. That's right, bro. Even the, the, the hashtag underground players can beat the, the top pros, like... Yeah. The next map, guys, is and gonna be Land Mega Random. Land Mega Random is coming in. We got Rus and Ayubid banned out, and Ayubid and Chinese. And we're playing on Land Mega Random, and both players chose Delhi. Needless to say, as you saw and there... Honestly, Eljona's Delhi is probably his best. You could also say the same about Vortex, right? But we are having Land Mega Random, so everything can happen. So I want to bring up, bring up this beautiful uh, uh, graph I got here. These are the maps that are played already. They cannot be played again. And now we got Land Mega Random here, which I need to update. So Vortex has played Rus, Japanese, now Delhi, and he has played French. So he French. cannot play those civs anymore if he wins with Delhi. And now Vortex is on three win streak. So he has the longest win streak right now. And I just want to say, so, sorry, one thing to say. So. There's some people who are like, oh my god, if, if the player is last, then they only get to play one game, that's I unfair. already said that. I said in it's case... It's not it unfair. They get $50 if they win one game. And if we do it again, he is starting. The that's game. right. That's right, punks. This is map. How many secret sets? Three? 
three. Yeah. This is a pretty normal map. Yeah. All things considered. Looking at the food, what do we have? All right, let's introduce yeah. the players. We got Vortex, three win streak. He's pumping. Who do we got here? We have the challenger from France. We have Eliona in the color red playing the Delhi. That's right. And uh, okay, let's look at that. So there's three sacred sites. Yes, we have some pretty stuff for even. Us. Pretty even. Yeah, pretty uh, fair overall. The food is the important part, right? Markets, so. both cringe, but we don't need them. Yeah, the game is gonna last 18 minutes max, so it doesn't matter. Yeah, and once again, guys, this is land mega random. So the map could have been like one sacred site, right? Yeah. So what do we got? Food sources, let's check them. Berry. Um, I mean, two deer. Vortex's food is actually further away, isn't it? Or maybe not. Um, maybe it's equal. This like his second deer packs look really far. And he's no, his second berries are definitely further away. Yeah. Yeah. But, but that's uh, the thing, right? It's mega random. Yeah, Everything it's mega random. random. You you like? I mean, the thing about mega random is. Uh, this is land mega random, so water is not possible. And if you're playing land mega random, you probably want to take a sieve that can do map control, right? Because you don't know if your food's going to be good or not. You don't know if your gold's going to be good or not. So you would rather play something aggro to take the map control so you can actually get the food that you need. No, my death FA is too fun. I can't play normal QM anymore. Help. It is. It is. All right. More people saying red spawn sucks. What does it suck? He has less wood, by the way. One thing to note, but I would be very surprised if this if game it makes it past, yeah. past one woodland. I don't think this woodland's gonna be gone before the game ends. You guys are looking into this woodlands probably and over here, but. I, I would be surprised if a Delhi mirror with Vortex in it ends up past 15 minutes. I think 15 minutes is like the top cutoff. <clears throat> yeah, most likely. Okay. And yeah, we can have mirrors, by the way. Uh, obviously, the chances of mirrors happening are not going to be very high. Um, but they are a possibility. We got Tower of Victory on both. Yeah, no surprise here. Yeah. Mm hmm. We got some deer over here. We took it. We're just yeah. waiting for the game to uh, load up. How are you to doing, Cor? Are you still holding up? Do you need a break? Yeah. Yeah. I mean, I gotta walk the dock soon. That's why I was uh, hoping Winston is here soon. And. Uh huh. Yep. Yeah. Okay, I'll uh, I'll poke him again. Yep. Yeah. Let me see. When did I message him for? Uh, keep going. Go ahead. Go ahead. Yeah, yeah. Like, there's not much to say right now, right? We're playing Dali. They are both uh, aging up. They will both make Gazi Raider opening most likely. And then it's probably up to who blinks first, who's going to make Spearman, who's going to make Archers. I think in the end it's going to be a triple comp for both players, right? Spearman, Archer, uh, Horseman. Mm -hmm. And then it's most likely... I mean, I think the, the top sacred side is a bit closer to uh, Eliona, and the bottom one is a bit further away for Vortex. That means yeah. that they're both further away for Vortex. Yeah. <laughs> You Thank found you. a very interesting way. You found a very mate. interesting way in saying that. Guys, the top sacred size is closer to red. Ooh. But the uh, bottom uh, one is further uh, away from blue. This is smart. You gotta be like this. Smart. Okay, Tower Victory is coming up. Who's no, I'm making just saying, the first stable? I'm just saying I love the way you cast, that's all. Okay, stable, stable. This is not my cast. native language. What do you mean? Calm down. We the can cast next time in German. I want to see you then. Hello, my name is Alexander. I come from Serbia. Huh? You do realize English is not my main language either. Yeah, but you speak it since 40 years, you fucking boomer. No, I don't. I've learned English yeah. like eight years ago. Okay. I was illiterate before that. Okay. Say something, uh... 
Good. Now, okay, stable lead for Ayulna. First mm -hmm. Gazi Raid in production. Mm -hmm. Which one do you like better? Uh, Vortex opener? He went Blacks like, into stable? Yeah, I like or do you like stable more. into the other thing? Uh, I like Blacksmith more. Okay. What upgrade is he researching first? Plus one, plus one, plus... Oh, well, he's getting armor first. Interesting. And then uh, Bloomery last. And now he's already making... Like, he, he didn't make a Gazi and he's already making a Barracks, right? So this is interesting. There's two Gazi on the field and there's only one on making now. But he's also not supervising it, right? So basically the idea behind the Leona's play is you outmass in Gazi Raiders, so you will have more cavalry. The idea behind Vortex's play is you have, obviously, faster upgrades and you go Spearman, so it doesn't matter that uh, Eliona has more Gazi Raiders. Yeah. So it's kind of like, depends what the, the players want, right? And like it's, it's a mind game, right? Yeah, and Vortex has two Scholars in the Mosque, so he will be getting upgrades a, a bit faster. Obviously not game ending, but if you look at the upgrades, right, Vortex is... I mean, it takes a good difference. Yeah, yeah, Vortex's upgrades are finishing already. But I think he could have been more aggressive there. I think he could have maybe yeah, yeah, even one villager there. Like, there's only four villagers next to the PC. Yeah, I agree as well. I also think that, that was a missed opportunity. He can just heal them, right? Yeah. Like, you're not gonna lose... A and you can also take this five, technically, right? It's two Spearmen. They're yeah. Dark Age. So. Yeah, they are Dark Age. Maybe Leona not as confident, you know? Maybe he's like, oh shit, you know, playing against Vortex. It could be. Because I feel like that fight you take a million percent. If yeah, he was playing ladder, he goes for that, yeah. Now the spear of Nara upgraded. But he can still take that fight if he manages to snipe the... Yeah, he's just got a micro bit. Spears. Now, one thing to talk about is this woodland for Vortex is very far, by the way. So he can actually dive the woodland, but Vortex notices that too, I think, yeah. and he walls But I'm surprised he walls with the villagers there, and this one villager might get end up caught. Ah, he's, he's going Is he fine? Yeah, yeah. Like, you, you don't have to deep around the pathing. You don't do it. Okay, he's not dead. I lied. Yeah. I lied. Sacred sites are gonna be captured. Eliona does have nine Gazi Raiders, but he doesn't have a single archer, and this is gonna be a pretty easy cap for Vortex right now. Yeah. So. Wait, <clears throat> Eliona made one blacksmith, and look what he queued up. I think he wanted to make another blacksmith, but I think he forgot. Mm. You see Maybe what I mean? Yeah, yeah. He's planning uh -oh. like he's doing archers. But... I mean, he is, right? Maybe he's just going out of gas, you know? He's just sticking to his line and just gonna make the archer. Human. Yeah, I think the best thing you can do now is Eliona is counterattack. Because you cannot yeah, contest this. Yeah, like go into barriers, right? Try to do something with yeah, the just, just like dive the reinforcements. Yeah. Like if he finds the barriers, it's going to be Ooh. massive diff uh, damage, right? But now yeah. he's going to reveal himself, so. Okay. Does he see that, actually? Yeah, he sees that. Okay. He sees it. The units are coming back. And this is already looking pretty rough. No second blacksmith, and he forgot 100%. He I'm forgot not sure. 100%. I'm not sure. Because if he like, queued is... up, well, you want Iron Undermash. Right? Yeah, I'm not sure. Like, It doesn't matter what he queued up next, right? It's not researching now. So. Yeah, yeah, uh, yeah. Okay, he's decapping. He's gonna try contest the top one. I also like what Vortex is doing. He's researching attack sites, right? He's gonna miss out on one villager for that. But, yeah. Like, Having these uh, 25 more hit points on the villagers if you play it against that many Gazi Raiders is probably a good idea. Yeah. True. True, true, true. Uh, so Eliona is taking a different approach. Vortex is doing what uh, I think, I'm not actually sure, but I think the Spanish br brothers started this. Where you just massively commit to basically all three units. You go Archer, Spearman, and Gazi Raiders. Whereas Eliona is doing more like, uh, I'm just gonna stick to archers and Gazi Raiders and try to up micro. <clears throat> yeah. So basically, Vortex's archers are not gonna be as useful, but he's gonna have more units to kind of deal with and target fire. 
Yeah, and on top of that, right? Like Vortex, he has two sacred side. He has more passive gold income. He's getting additional scholars now, or he can buy more food. On top of that, he also has some blacksmith upgrades finished already. Yeah. So like he's in a super good spot for now. Ooh, the stealth forest. Gazi yeah. Raiders mowing down two villagers there and getting some idle time. He is kiting, and now he's a lot of microing. And for Vortex, this is a lot easier to micro, by the way. It just like, I know it sounds silly, but he can A move and be fine with the results, but Eliona needs to target Fire Spears, otherwise he's just yeah. gonna get absolutely destroyed. Yes. Mm -hmm. Coming and that's in just a fight you don't want to take, right? Like, if you have one unit type less, it, you, you don't want to fight that. Yeah. He's, because he, that, that's exactly what's gonna happen, right? Yeah, he has a pretty good target fire, he actually pushes back. Completely cleans up the Spearmen. Vortex lost all Gazi Raiders almost. Like, there's three of them that are basically dead. And, uh... The thing is, if you have equal army count, and your biggest army count for Vortex is Archers, which is one thing that is not super effective against anything, that's not a good spot for, uh, for Vortex army-wise, but he does have three Sacred Sides, so... Yeah. That's obviously he's really, really making good. Making additional scholars, right? He he's getting all the upgrades. He's yeah, Iron Undermash. He, he, he can buy food. He can do oh, a no. lot of things. Eliona is skipping Iron Undermash till after fitted leatherwork. Yeah, I don't know about that. Big. Okay, a little raid coming in, but yeah, like now we're at the point, right? The food is running out. You go you gotta go wilder on the map. Like you mm -hmm. you gotta take some risks. And now that the point where the raid is coming in, is the... yeah. That's gonna be some dead villagers here on the left. Found right on the Ooh, other side. Okay, he sees it. It's gonna be maybe two? One? I mean, he's committing. Oh, they're walking back. I mean, there's only one spearman, right? So. But Ooh. all these guys here are like one HP. Oh, there's like, a lot that's, of misclicking happening. Wants. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Two, two villagers. Yeah. And the uh, the upgrade doing pretty good, right? Yeah, the, the textiles already paid off, right? Yeah, because that was at least four or five bills there. Look at that, yeah. 3 HP. Yeah, and it's still like, what, two sacred sites? Eliona now getting the first sacred site, but it's about to get decapped immediately again. Mm -hmm. And now we can see, right? Like, Eliona's now playing into mass archers. That's what I was talking about earlier. He's not making too many Ghazi Raider anymore. He's making Spearmen as well. Yeah, and, and I said as well in the beginning, right? In the end, we were going to have three, uh, the, the triple comp for both sides. Yeah. And now he's just kind of getting overwhelmed with the... He's still target firing the Spearman. Okay, he stopped now. He's trying to kill the Gazi Raiders. There's a yeah. lot of units for Vortex. But now these archers are super exposed. Now he's going to lose the food there, right? And now he's in a, in a horrible spot, right? He's about to run out of food. The berries are out. And yeah. yeah he needs to go and to on top of that, he's oh. out here. Yeah. This is like... The, that's the problem, right? That's, that always comes together. You're getting raided, you get pushed off, and at the same moment you run out of sheep at home. So now he's... he's <laughs> yeah, he it always happens like that. Yeah. It's like, could you guys really eat cheap uh, fast, ne like right at this moment? Can you chill a bit? And now the, we see the army number, right? It's like 35 to 15. Uh, Eliona's getting cleaned up on top of that. He doesn't have map control. He has no more food. And that's just the game, right? Like, there's no way to come back of this against Vortex. Yeah. Good effort, but again, you know, Vortex, Spanish Bros, in general, they're good on water maps, but they're also very good at this kind of uh, aggro play, right? So, I think maybe trying to play that kind of game against him, pretty rough, right? Pretty, yeah. pretty rough. 13 minutes, I said, under 15 minutes. I would be surprised if it ends uh, any time above 15 minutes, because it's a deli mirror. You don't see a lot of macro deli mirrors. It's usually very very quick ones so guys uh vortex is now on four win streak and he cannot play delhi yeah and now the next opponent is the one the, the only beastie destroyer from china Wait, why it's is he... a loot epic production right here so vortex got four win streak these are the maps that are played out we're gonna add george right here and these are the sieves he cannot play anymore jd versus ayubid and core i don't know if you know much about aoe4 i actually know a lot about aoe4 you're the smartest player in the world actually thank you thank but you. this is Th not a good matchup for jd i'll give a little teaser 
the player after this game, if you think this might be a pumper matchup, the player after this game that will be playing, I, I finished with 80 bounty, 80, is gonna be the chimp. <clears throat> so whoever wins this will be place facing Marine Lord in a best of one, and we'll see who Marine Lord or which map Marine Lord picks. All right, gamers, we're up for our next game. Yo, this is gonna be a good. He things are heating up right now because yeah, Vortex. Go, right go introduce now, the not... players. Go introduce both of them, Core. Okay. Go. On the right side, we have uh, Vortex playing a JD in the color blue. On the left side, we have Louis MT. Wow. The best. That was beautiful. Chinese player. I had chills when you announced that. Playing. So the guys. Ayubit in red. This is potential money match. Okay, because Vortex might be holding the record for most wins with four, and Louis might be breaking the record, the highest uh, win streak record, and then getting the bonus 100 bucks as well. True. So we'll see. We will see. Oh, uh ho! -huh. Uh -huh. Are you expecting anything spicy from Louis or just standard stuff? No, 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 just standard, right? Again, if you look at the stats, he's the better player right now because he reached third place and Vortex finished, what, sixth, seventh, fourth, fifth? I don't know. Do you, so, you would you put Louis favored as a player? Like in general, not not the finishing like place part, but just... Uh, I think they had it like super close, right? Like Vortex is super aggressive. I think Louis is also super aggressive, so oh. I, th I think it's going to be a good game. Yeah, this matchup for, for people that maybe don't know is uh, pretty rough for JD because Ayubid obviously plays Castle Rushes, and not only Ayubid plays Castle Rush, which JD is not really quick enough to stop, but also they get Desert Raider, which kind of craps on the Knights pretty badly, and you get them for free. And then if Ivan gets to castle, they have Lancers, which craps on Knights again. So yeah. it's just a pretty rough matchup in general. Like, it doesn't mean it's a 0% win rate, but it's a pretty rough one. And Louis actually mowing down the first berry. That kind of also tells us he's probably not going for the eco wing, right? What is he going to go for? The military. Herbs? Oh, that's no. a trader for sure. Yeah, but after you go in castle with uh, economic wing growth, right? Yeah, but uh, like... I think he's just trying to get as much food out on the map before he has to go on the sheep, right? Yeah, potentially. That's, that's what I would do, right? Let's check because the sheep Because if, if he leaves shift, like, if he leaves a few, yeah, I mean, that's Ooh, what I would do. He's following his scout. Okay, that's not good for uh, Vortex. So Vortex got 11 sheep, and Louis right now has 15, 15. sheep. That's a loot. There's another one on the bottom, which I don't think he's going to... Oh, never mind. I mean, Vortex will have map control most likely if we expect a normal game plan, right? So he can go for the boar, he can go for the deer. But as soon as Louis hits the, 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 the crucial timing, like the eight, six, seven, eight minute castle timing with the Camelensos, then uh, it's going to be problematic for Vortex potentially. And yeah, we can see the, the military wing coming up. Yeah, and he looks, like, he looks like he's doing the thing you mentioned. He's just going to mow down as many bears as possible. Uh, so he has more food under his TC. Which in this yeah. matchup makes sense. Like in some matchups, you've probably seen me and you've seen other players who watch the tournaments do. Like you mine the berries until there's like 10, 20 foot left on all of them. So then when you age up with Eco Wing uh, in Castle, you get 100 bonus food per berry. So you basically get 600 food extra in your berries, which is pretty cool. But um, this looks like he's not just making a tower. I think he's just going to No, make I think it's going to be double tower. Like if you tower, you both do like... You That's think the thing, it's gonna right? Go if double? you tower, you make two towers, right? Otherwise, if you're getting towered, it doesn't help you. I think it's gonna make a stable in archer range. Yeah, I think so too. But I think if you tower, you have to make two towers. Yeah, true. Because then he's just gonna tower the other side. True, true, true. JD is moving across the map, core. Surprise! And I don't control. think, I don't think that's, yeah, I don't think that's for. Uh, yeah, but fighting. That's, ex that's exactly what I was expecting, right? Well, that's why you're the smartest player in this castle. That's why I have the game knowledge, and that's why I also have coaching, right? That's <laughs> right. Guys, if you need coaching, Core can figure out anything. If you guys watch the the uh, the movie Enigma, 
Thor is one of the people that 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 has enough brain that would have figured that out alone in about five minutes. Yeah, and because I'm doing coaching, we have this tournament today because Hermes is one of my coaching guys, and he's right. like, "Hey, I want to throw up some money. I want to host a tournament." And that's, that's right. exactly what I was going to tell you. There's a second tower coming up. That's why he's mining the wood, and that's why I'm the coach and not the player. Boom. Hashtag core chain. You like that? Yeah. It's a that trademark a right there. Smooth transition. Ooh, 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 ooh. Okay, the tower is coming. He see, he sees the tower. He's like, huh? He's gonna try. Wait, that's not a good tower angle. He can tower here. He yeah, can tower on the left. Great. Yeah, this yeah. tower ain't no. Oh my god. I think <laughs> this is still in range. That is, but. No, the the, the left tower is in range for for oh, Yeah, like... I, uh, Louis misplaced the tower. Yeah. Oh, but he he can just do this actually. Yeah, but for how long? And JD is tanky as fuck. True. Oh, he's chasing the villager, bro. He wants that booty. Oh yeah, JD is one of the villagers. I forgot. But he is gonna get this villager. Easy clap. Two knights. I think this tower is going up. Yeah, but the upgrade is coming in. If he's garrisoning on the upgrade timing, I think that's gonna be a dead villager. Oh, it's JD. Now you have to garrison, right? No. Is that? I think it's in range, yeah. It's in range. No? It's, is it in range? No. It's in range. Yeah, that's a misplacement, oh, brother. Oh, that's... This tower is badly positioned right here. Yeah. That, that's exactly why wow. you have to make two towers, right? So you prevent them. <clears throat> yeah, but, but one to needs to be like properly. here, man. Yeah. Oh, that's a big mistake. That yeah, is a, a big, game ending big mistake, mistake, actually. That's such a big investment, right? You invest 200 wood into towers, you get the stone for upgrades. That's another 100 resources. Now you're forced to make another mining camp. And they don't even think the mining no, camp no, is going to no, change the situation. Help. No, 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 yeah. for sure. That's in range still. So he invested 350 resources for this uh, location, aye, and now aye, he, aye. he has to leave it, right? Louis throwing a little, not a little bit, a lot of bit. This Look is actually tower. game ending, actually. Uh -oh. This is game ending damage. Uh -oh. There was such a big investment, and the snipe coming in as well. Oh JD. no, he's gonna commit to. Oh yeah. no, Louis, don't do that. I mean, he's making a ram now, right? But there's like, he lost the villager. He invested so much. He has to make a ram now. On top of that, like. This is horrible. This is bad. And he can't even go take the other tower because he doesn't have units to defend against the knights. How many knights is there? Three? Four knights and JD. Yeah, and oh, even God. fortify that, right? And the knights will just take it down the ramp, right? Like, th oh, this God. position is not going to get claimed back here for, for Louis. Like, the knights, they do a lot of damage to the ramps anyway. Yeah, he can just charge and kill it. Yeah. And, oh yeah, my god! Uh, who is this guy? My god, dude, the snipe! Uh, the Spanish bull. Right there. Boom. <laughs> ay, ay, ay. What is Louis gonna do here? Where's no. he going? Where? No, dude. No, dude, oh, he's, he's gonna garrison. Oh god, this is so painful. This is so much idle time. This is this horrible. This is so painful. Like, you just take this, right? I mean, you can I just see heal what him he's up. doing, but... Yeah, yeah, but you, you so just good. get the, the weak knights in, right? Like, that's basically it. Like, look at the ram, you just go back, and you get their healing, and you micro them back. And the, the camel goes down, right? So... Yeah, this this is not gonna work. And the villagers here to repair already. Yeah, this is just game over. I tell you already. This is just the game. Like... <clears throat> that is really sad. And uh, Vortex got a second town center right now. Louis, zero units. Yep. Zero I mean, units, he can zero make, gold. He can make, uh, what's it called? Um, he can take it no, he can't even advance between. Oh, he's gonna try again. No, don't do it. Yeah. He's gonna try to make a ram and then make spearmen with the ram. That's just. That's just painful, brother. I've... Stop. I mean, honestly, this could not have went better for what he's here. Yeah. Like, this is a this rough tower matchup, is and really... you get this. Yeah, this tower screwed Louis. That's like, this better. tower needed to either be here, or this tower needed to be here. Yeah, just next to the gold. But just this where is the like... other one is on the other side. Yeah, he could have placed a tower here, too, by the way. It would have done the same thing. That is really rough. 
He's gonna use the healing cooldown just to get some, uh, you know, some value out of that. He's gonna check the bottom side. The funny thing is, uh, Vortex did not check the bottom side at all, by the way. So if Louis actually just went here, even with no tower or anything, he would have been more than fine. Vortex is only checking now. Which I think Louis didn't go because he assumed that, you know, that's gonna be contested, but it wasn't at all. Now, he might break this because he has Spearman and he can put Spearman in the... Uh... Yeah, but the, this brought so much time. Like, the village account is growing. Vortex is close to aging up as well. Like, this is the prime position he wants to be in, right? Yeah. Okay, the knights are coming out. I mean, he, he's frying up the Spearman. Yeah. I mean, he, he might end up losing at least one night here while going out, right? But, like, the spearmen are falling. Yeah, he can just go away now. He's done his thing. Imagine if Louis wins. And the camel right goes now. down again. That's another 18 uh, XP for John. There's a raider of zero health! He's got... He's so good, he survives on zero. Wow. Alright, well... He is gonna quote unquote defend that and he is gonna age up with the eco wing. Now, yeah, but Vortex is close to aging up as well, right? That's the thing. I, I understand that, core. I, I, yeah. uh, I understand that, but. Um, I mean, at this point, uh, like, Vortex should be more than happy. Yeah, I mean, like you said, this is the best situation that could have happened, right? Yeah. Uh, he's gonna go on the boar as well. Like, the only chance that Louis has right now... I should have brought the ram. Is if he, like, somehow breaks the gold and then blocks him from mining the gold and then delays Vortex in castle while he gets relics, right? That's... Yeah, but Vortex also has, like, super close gold next to the second PC, right? Right. And Louis is not even aware of the second PC, right? Where's he's his gonna scout? Get oh yeah, he lost the scout. He yeah. doesn't even know. Like, oh, he's gonna be fine economically, right? He's getting plus eight villages for free. But, uh, yeah. Like, if he never scouts his TC, this is gonna be really problematic. And what is gonna age up faster, actually. 40 seconds? Yeah, he's gonna age up faster. Which is even more sad. And he doesn't even... Wait, does he not know? He doesn't know where the stone is, so he can't even check where the stone is. Yeah, and it's also behind, so he's most <clears> likely <throat> not gonna scout that too soon, right? Yeah. It's a disaster. But he should know, right? Like, based on no units and based on the age up timing? I mean, but that's also a pretty decent age up now, right? So, maybe? I mean, oh, yeah, four knights, right? right? <clears throat> okay, he's gonna get eight gonna... villagers now. What is in this tower? <clears throat> I don't know. Is Louis gonna all YOLO all in, or is he gonna get relics and second No, no, he's gonna go for relics for sure. But the problem is now we're neck and neck eco, right? But we're both castle age, oh. Vortex still on one more TC. Wait, he sent the villagers, it looked like, to stone, and then he sent them back to gold. Changing his mind a little bit. Monastery or mosque is coming up. Sacred side for a JD. JD has to be really close to age up, right? Or level up? Should be. Wait, what? It's still a decent bit away. I mean, uh, we killed four or five spearmen and one <laughs> camera desert right? Not too much. Sheesh. So sad how people don't even go for the second boar anymore. It's like, yeah, whatever. Shit takes me. He's making dervishes right now. Yeah, but this is probably gonna be like a 3 2 <clears throat> relic. Which, again, is not good for Ayubid. Like, as, yeah, as Ayubid even... in this matchup, you want to take five, basically. Yeah, and now he's probably about to find out about TC, right? And then he's going to be like, oh, shit, how long is this up for? Mm -hmm. Oh, okay, that was a misclick, I think. Yeah. yeah. It happens. Sweet. Can you check this? Is he actually finding it? Yeah, it's going to find it. He knows. Huh? He knows. And he's like, uh... Okay, so Ayubid is still strong though, like, Ayubid has this giga strong timing where you just, yeah. you know, you can just make, make a mangonel now. Yeah, because... Like, it's not over, right? But again, it's a, a bad matchup for, for, for JD. Yeah, that's right? the funny part. If this is like a favored matchup for JD, this would be like minus 10% chance to win. 
Uh, it's gonna be Wololo. Oh my god, I bought a 1 HP. It's okay. Um, yeah, if this was like a favorite JD matchup, this game is million percent over. But because Ibit is still pretty good against JD, Louis does have a chance. And I feel like Vortex is pushing out a little bit uh, too eager, maybe. Like thinking that there's not gonna be a lot of units, but there's a shit ton of units from uh, Louis still. And yeah, one Mangono, by the way, is so awkward to deal with is JD, because... Yeah, making, I mean, you have uh, ranged JD, right? You can you can, use you can the... snipe Mangano, yeah. Yeah. But it's not going to be a one-shot, obviously, right? But you have some tools against it. But yeah, like facing a Mangano without having any counter siege is never a good sign. He, he has three Divine Arrows, right? And he should be leveling up soon. So he can quickly tap a Mangano, but if there's two, then he can't tap Sheet. Yeah. Um... Okay, he's still gonna try to deny that relic, and he might be able to actually. He's also on stone now, I think. Can you check? Yeah, okay, he's going now. So he's gonna do this push. The upgrades, no ranged upgrades for Louis, by the way. Ooh, these or ranged oh, uh, step step. armor. The monk is gonna go die again, and this this is the second monk. So this might be looking like a five relic game still for Louis, by the way, which it would be really really good. Okay, I don't know if that yeah. was the misclick heal again, because most of the units are full, except this one guy. But uh, good relic deny from Louis, and he is behind on workers, but he's getting relics, so he's gonna make up for that, basically, deficit yeah. for a bit. But and he needs to get a so, second right? TC, yeah, he needs to get a second TC very soon, otherwise he will lose on eco. We have guild hall, right? There's no... There's yeah, there's no, a guild hall. Uh... Probably on food, right? No, I'm just... Oh, okay. snaps JD's neck. What's so he lost speed? three knights there and JD. Like, this was a, a, a horrible engagement here. Yeah, this is still not looking... Uh... Okay, she's back. She is... I mean, she needs like seven, eight units to die to level up. <clears throat> oh, that's a lot of... Oh my god. Yo, if he spots that... Okay, Dervish is going to take that relic, by the way. Yeah, and then it's going to be the 5-0 we... Spearman? Whoop. Okay, that's not running away, but even for relics, I think considering the game is really good. Yeah. Like, sure. wait, he left one night? No, oh, yeah. Wait, that, that relic is gonna get quite far away. Yeah, and the next one is coming. Yeah, and so probably he's some gonna spearman get will do the job. That's five relics. Yeah. Oh my god, the wolf. <laughs> the wolf is adding up. Yeah, he's sending something. What is this? The yeah, Desert Raider? Knight passing through. Five relic game. Still, Boom. like I said, Plus still TC. pretty good. Third TC. Third TC, TC maybe, yeah. yeah. Louis cooking. I, I don't know. I'm not... I don't know if I like uh, Vortex's army, but then again, I don't really know what he should make. I really think that Mangono is a must here. Like, he should definitely throw that thing up. Yeah, for sure. <laughs> okay, army count is kind of equal, and we have a lot of a lot of archers for Vortex here, right? Forty-one villager on wood. Oh, he's he pulled out the food, and now he's on gold. So he will not have that guild hall pull for um, imp, Imperial. by the way. Yeah. So that's kind of interesting. He still has deer on the right side, and he still has berries. Uh, but so does Louis, right? So food-wise, they're very, very similar. Thirty C as well. He's still mining stone, right? Uh oh. Okay, so this might be a problem where you kind of have to take care of. Oh, he lost six workers there. Yeah, and he's gonna lose potential too. Like these guys are gonna go. Oh no. Yeah, you kind of need to uh, get a hold of the map now versus knights. Yeah, but look at the army count now, right? Like, there's mainly archers, but there's, uh, like, all, all we has is getting completely countered by archers. And JD is now level 3, so um, the, the men at arms are out as well. I yeah. think the archers are just super good right now. And the Mangana is coming in now. Oh, this one, needed. Desert Raider, so annoying. Oh my god, he's causing so much idle. And this is unupgraded, so this will die to a knight. But, you know, some idle time is good. <clears throat> yeah, the man gonna know is gonna be a problem, right? I mean, JD... Is it though? 100 damage? Shoot! Shoot! 
CD is oh out of position. Shot! Hello? Oh, that's a lot. That was very bad engagement. Oh my yeah, god, he lost so me. many knights. Oh, but in the back? Yeah, yeah, some villagers. Down. Not too much. This is the important fight, right? Like, that's a, a lot of XP for JD, and also the Mangano is uh, like, yeah, you can just two shoot it. Yeah. Still, knights farming on the back a little bit. Farm transition is coming in for Vortex. I mean, look at Deco. Like, he's down, uh, up 25. Yeah. Like, is, is Louis not making villagers out of his CCs or what? I think he's just. And also, no textiles, right? Yeah, okay, he's getting textiles now. <laughs> After losing a lot of them. Guys, always <laughs> get the textiles. It's so good. Um, He's gonna kill these for free, which is, I guess, nice. But unless one of the players makes a big mistake, I don't think this game is gonna end, like fast right unless one player just mows down the other one in the big fight because their I, armies I, are pretty pretty equal i honestly think uh, vortex could play this a bit more aggressive right like he can just take down the the mangonel with the jd and he has so many archers and again louis army is like almost getting countered completely by archers yeah so i the... think he could be more aggressive here and then he's also getting a lot of xp for jd um yeah i think he could be a bit more aggressive 92 workers right now by the way the jd ability does 100 damage, true damage. So this Mangono almost gets one shot, which is uh, uh, really, really good. Some farms, this one farm not being worked on too much. I think there's going to be one more fight, and Vortex is probably going to destroy that one. Because he also is making Spring at right? So he's like going for the safe route, which I don't mind personally, right? Like, there's no reason to make the, the game harder than needed. If your opponent has a Mangono, just make a Spring It's simple. Yeah. Well, yeah, and the yeah, equal yeah. the army lead right now is just like immense, right? Yeah, and the thing is also Vortex not only has more villagers, but he has discounted buildings, right? So yeah. he's producing a lot of the stuff for a lot cheaper. By the way, what did he oh yeah, he chose the Jean's yeah, champions. Yeah. Why is he not capturing the secrets in the middle of Jean? I think a lot of people just forget. I forget at least. Yeah, he's coming. I, I think Vortex is just giving him too much time here. Okay, now he's going in. It's a bit weird because Vortex, you expect them to go around and just fucking charge into villagers and dive TCs, but he's been playing like very chill in the back, kind of yeah. slow approach. Four Springles. Yeah, the problem is, even with four Springles, he can lose a Mangonel to JD, so he actually needs to make more Mangonels as well. Like at least two Mangonels, I would say. Yeah. To prevent, uh, cause yeah, these two sprinkles. Oh, oh, yeah. That's minus one. That's 60 XP. Healing coming in. Like this is potential uh, H4 fight for JD here, right? Yeah. Like if JD survives and all the siege falls, that's so much XP. XP. Yeah, he's got no. I mean, the magnets are down, right? So yeah. yeah and he's got a lot of that. archers down. What is this? 23, 23 crossbows versus 54 archers. Yeah, He's targeting is... John with uh, Springles. Okay. Bitch. Picks it off. And uh, I mean, that was definitely a better fight for Louis, right? For sure. Yeah. He keeps his siege. The, f the army supply, by the way, is equalized now. The worker supply will equalize over time because of the 3 TC versus 2. He does have yeah, 5 relics. Vortex is about to go Imperial, right? Right. Or is uh, I notice you're a bit of a contrarian. What is that? Uh, oh, it's okay. okay. Uh, anyway, uh, <clears throat> he's gaming. Red Palace. He's gonna go a little bit defensive. He doesn't wanna. Uh, he doesn't wanna risk. Probably feels like he's ahead enough. Unless... Go ahead, Core. No, I didn't say anything. Do you agree with that? Okay. Yeah, yeah, sure. Oh, it's... Okay. So, yeah, he will... <laughs> Core, you're a funny guy. Are you taking a break after this one? Yeah. How am I gonna live without you? You gotta make it up. I don't know how, but you should. I don't wanna. Casting without you... Is, is not pain the same, I know. It's not. It's not. Um. So yeah, he's gonna age up. 
He's gonna get his upgrades. He's resistant to horsemen. Doesn't want to use Louis, gold. The thing right now is right. Mm -hmm. uh, Louis, he's not even close to aging up. And as soon as he is close, he still needs two minutes, right? He's so, probably gonna age up with the uh, advancement wing, right? So it's gonna be. Yeah, but it's still gonna be a, a decent window, right? Right, still right. Like right. two minutes from now. And mm -hmm. by that time, Vortex is gonna have all his upgrades. Mm -hmm. And then it's probably. Preach it, brother. Preach it. And now, Jay. I hear you, sister. Can you check the HP, uh, the XP of JD? Of course. Thank you. Okay, yeah, still Ooh, a decent not bit even away. Close. Yeah. Not even close. <clears throat> Dude, my throat's starting to hurt from all the talking, goddamn. Elite horsemen are coming in. The walls are coming in. Uh, Vortex has no walls, by the way. Like, you know what I'm surprised about? Do you ever have this thing where, uh, where you play against someone and they're like harassing their rating and then you watch them play and they're just not doing it at all? You mean they just do it against you or what? No, no, no. It's just like when you watch them, you're like, come on, like Louis, if I, if we were playing, you would be sending like five archers here, five archers there. You know what yeah. I mean? And that's usually what Vortex does a lot, right? And now yeah, he's and Vortex, that. yeah, yeah, that's what we mentioned, right? The Vortex is all over the, with knights, but now he's just not. And it's just like yeah. weird to see, because I think you have like certain, I guess, expectations of what they're gonna do. But then you watch them play in another game, and sometimes they don't do it, right? And you're like, yeah. wait, what? So, like, Vortex army completely counters uh, uh, Luis right now, right? He's archers and horsemen, and there's like a spearman, crossbow, archer. So, We're in for a four hour game. No, I think this game is over in five minutes. Okay, spoilers? The fuck no, more? no spoilers. I, I think just looking from the game state. Like, if the game ends within five minutes. I go AFK the next game. Well, you're going AFK anyway, so that's not. Yeah, true. I will perma ban you from my stream for a week. How about that? Again? Cool. Yeah. yeah. That's like the, the, the 500 perma. If it ends by. 31, 4 is a punk. Oh, 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 JD coming in! Oh! Oh, that could have been way worse for Vortex here. Yeah? yeah, but look at the but HP. JD's almost oh my dead god, again. what is happening? In the bottom, we got some horsemen. We got some torching. I don't know. The horsemen are coming in. Villagers are running for their life. Is he aging up, by the way? Can you check the other person? He is, he is with advancement up. right there. Boom. So. He will age up. Vortex's food is really bad, by the way. 1.4k, 5k a minute. Okay, needs more farms for sure. Um, I mean, I don't think Vortex can push. Like, his army is very much like feudal army. You know what I mean? Yeah. Oh my god, dude, if he turns around with Mangonels. Dude, if he, tur if he turns around. I mean, Vortex kind of has a fight now, right? But there's no count against Yeah, I don't, I don't think he can, like, end the game. Because this much siege, he's got no counter for it. Yeah. And his army if he had, like, is, two, like... Three... Yeah? If, if he had, like, two or three springers prepared with the range upgrade, I think that's a big game there. Yeah. And now the elite upgrades are finishing and for Louis as well. And fast. The Golden Age is insane for the Aerobits. Is it? Yeah. 50% more research speed. He's getting Tithe Barns as well. I mean, he's got five relics. Yeah. Like, all Louis needs to do now is get a handle of the map. Like, do some stonewalling. and Because these horsemen are going to rip him apart if they, you know, if they just get in for free like this. Louis is not even moving. Like, look at that eco now. That is going to yeah. be a rough one. I like that he's pushing, though. Because he sees, okay, a lot of your army is in the back. The villager count is equalized, by the way. So, Louis is actually ahead in Ipona. Because of the uh, relics. Yeah, like, he's ahead, right? And he's got better gathering rates, too. Oh, this is pretty rough. Where the spearmen? Oh, the spearmen lost track of time. They're like, where am I? Think, I? Uh, Vortex can still win this, but... And now Louis is doing the in, thing. like, the next ten minutes. Now he's doing the thing that I mentioned, right? He's like, oh god, the siege? Oh god, no, not like that. Oh god, bro, not like that. Don't lose. 
<clears throat> okay, okay, luckily, so Vortex thinks that the ranged army is here, so he's not diving on the siege. He doesn't know that the army is here. If he did, he would have killed the siege easily. There's a yeah, keep over here. Look at the damage Vortex is spending. Look at the villager account. Look at the workers kill. Yeah. Aye, aye, like aye, he's aye. down to 90 eco. He just was the uh, same eco, right? Yeah. Yeah. I mean, he lost 25 workers, right? Something like that. Mm. Again, really bad. But maybe he finds some damage copium. Well, that's a big army. I mean, it's though. not the end of the world, right? But his army is super out of position now. Ah. I think he's just gonna lose everything he has there. Guild Hall is still on gold as well. Oh no. Oh, relics lost. going down. Uh, he's gonna get burned. The relics Burn. drop out. He needs to. He really, really, really needs to wall. Like Stonewall. Yeah. I everywhere. think if he gets some. Oh god. Uh, he, he, he's just losing his entire army here. I think if he doesn't die and doesn't take like crucial damage in the next five to ten minutes and can get a little bit of a breathing room, he can completely win this game, right? But now his entire army is getting wiped. He has to reproduce. He also has no bank, and Vortex and Horsemen are still going all around and he's causing a lot of trouble with them. So yeah, I mean, there's still a world where Vortex wins. This. Yeah, for sure. Like that was definitely way too much damage taken that he didn't really need to take in the first place right like he had units they were just completely out of position to do anything he's gonna do some damage here he gets cleaned up on the top jd still level three what do we think about the vortex eco upgrades by the way vortex eco upgrades standard it's it's like the canadian blacksmith upgrades right <laughs> the spanish don't research decos the, the canadians don't research the army yeah. It is what it is, you know, it happens. These brother things, man. What are, what are the stables gonna be? Just mass horsemen? Probably, right? I mean, you can also go camels, right? Okay, by the way, you were wrong. 31 minutes is up and you said the game is over in 5 minutes, so... Yeah... I just wanted to point out that... Yeah, I messaged them to not finish too soon because then I'm getting a permanent right? Right, 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 right. Mm -hmm. Oof, that keep is cheeky. Does he see it? Okay, he definitely sees it. Oh, 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 oh! How many villages is, is that? That's not a lot. No, he doesn't see it. He just—he was just unable. Oh, he sees it now. No. Okay, okay. Okay, but this is not going up. He, I mean, he's killing all those villagers, right? No, the three spear. What I'm taking the kid. I don't know, man. Like the thing is, looking at the player's skill, right? in the late game definitely favor louis right yeah i mean I, these raids are happening and, and vortex is like destroying him but if the game is like split map i definitely favor louis in that yeah elite horsemen are getting upgraded so now louis is gonna start raiding but who's better at raiding them that's definitely vortex mm. or do you disagree uh, in general, yeah, but Imperial is a bit different, so I don't know. Okay, stone walls are coming. Yeah, I mean, Wait, we could be in for a long one. What the fuck are those walls? Wait, what are. What the hell is that? Why is he walling like that? We're not here. I have huh? no idea. Huh? And that's why I'm not playing. And I'm casting, because I don't yeah. know. I mean, this guy beat you, right? So you should probably not question his moves. That's true. Yeah. That's true. And all the guys in tournament beat you, so... Yeah, that's why I don't even play the tournaments anymore, so I can still trash talk, you know? You just right. gotta think right, one right, step right. ahead. Right, right, okay. I didn't consider that much. Yeah, because you don't think, like... I don't think, period. That's it. You can stop right there. Yeah. Thank you. Okay. We got biology. We got incendiary arrows. Where is Louis University? Does he even have one? Mm, I don't think so. No, oh, I, he, he has it. One. Okay. He got incendiary. Now he's getting biology. He needs uh, elite army tactics. But for Badly. what? Bro, look at it. What do you mean uh, for spearman, what? Yeah, spearman, 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 spearman. He's got 36 spearmen. JD, JD is still, still level four. three. Why do you always say the same like me? <laughs> well, you copied me. Because I said but it I first. Said it first. Oh. Ooh! Oh, 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 oh! 
Okay, cannon is coming. Already targeted. Yeah, Louis. Th this is the thing. I think Louis is just better at this stage in the game. Even though he's taking severe fucking damage. Like, look at that. He's disgusting. Look at that. He's controlling Mangalons on two archers. Spearmen are covering the horsemen. And is this the beginning of finally coming back into this game? After getting dented for like 35 minutes. I mean, is it? Bro, he's eating mangal shots. I don't know, man. Vortex is desperately trying to get the seed, but Louis is doing a good job in covering, so... I don't know, man. Trebs are coming out. Horsemen are gonna harass. Like, this is what Louis needs to prevent. And I think that if he just... I don't think he needs to raid even. I think he just needs to do a straight-up push against Vortex to... To win, because I think he will micro that army better. Like the siege archer spearmen come better. A lot of worker kills again. He just recovered. Yeah. And now he's back to having no fucking eco. It is what it is, brother. What are these traps for? Is he gonna push this kid? I guess, right? Yeah. And now Vortex is gonna switch into mass. Archers or men at arms? Oh, he's got 3.3k gold. He just pulled out of the guild hole. That's why he's got so much gold. And Vortex, this is his last gold on the map. Louis, he's got 6k more in the bank. And he's got one and a bit more stones. The raiding started, Core. The walls are in. Yeah. Yep, yep, yep. <laughs> Alright, here we go. Here we go, brother. Siege engineer, siege work, sorry. Elite army tactics is now coming too. Oh, he's just gonna trap the red palace. He's going straight through the middle. Oh my god. I mean, god. that's great, right? Like, he has like this death ball. Like, he has a siege. Um, mm -hmm. There's no reason. Look at Louis' upgrades. So. Isn't that beautiful? Yeah. That's By the way, uh, Vortex's food eco, that is not it, dude. You cannot remax with 1.6k. Although yeah. Louis is 2.2, which is also not enough. Yeah, but the Golden Age, don't forget it, right? And he's all the eco bridge, so... Yeah, yeah, yeah but I'm just saying, higher. like, they need more eco, right? The cannon goes down. Trebs are doing work on the Red Palace. There's some raid in the back. It's gonna kill some workers. But... It's not gonna kill enough. And Louis is already like on autopilot on building uh, workers, right? He's just losing them all the time. Yeah. <laughs> so he's like, I mean, yeah. it doesn't matter if you have that kind of an army, right? Yeah, that's the like, thing. Like, in a way, he might be Vortex might be doing damage to himself because Louis's army, army is, is just getting produced. bigger, and he can yeah. already not deal with that one, right? And it's just getting bigger. And now we have a few left spearmen, right? Yeah, for this kind of push, he might be helping Louis. Like, it might be better if Louis had 20 more workers now, because this is a Omega Death push, and I can't see Vortex breaking with zero siege. Like, I think this... Oh my god, the archers are going forward. He did not use hold position. Oh god, he's gonna lose some there. Horsemen are gonna go to the top. Red Palace. Is... How is it still so much HP? Huh? Okay, JD level 4, finally. Oh my god, the mangoes. Core. Core, core, core. Yes. Oh my god! The mangoes god. are doing so much damage. It's a distraction! Like, these mangoes are the, the fucking MVP, right? Like, they are alive since, like, what, 10, 15 minutes? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, those are the three mangoes that were on the keep, defending. Oh, JD, very low HP right now. Springles are target firing it. The mangoes are all alive! Three! He can turn on the- Wow! GG gets called for Louis M to the T, brother! Yep. He does it! Which means... The highest win streak right now is four wins. And Louis has the highest rec highest broken streak and Vortex has the highest streak right now. Yes. Wow. So the next game is going to be the baboon against Louis MT.